Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Tomb Gallows. Last time, uh, we chopped down a whole bunch of wood and gathered more plants. It's also now summer, apparently. So, basically my next move is to go back to making ash so I can make soap. Um, probably use up all these gems, considering we have so many of them. Yeah, we also now have a bunch of axe doors and recruits now. Um, whenever they're done doing that, which will probably be never, a vile force of darkness has arrived. Okay. Um, oh, hello, more goblins. Well, uh, pull the lever. That's why we have it. Cool. So there's a lot of goblins outside. Hello, vile force of darkness. Yes, come chase the dog. And <laughs> run right into the cage traps. Yes, good, run into the cage traps. I think you killed the dog. On one hand, that sucks. On the other hand, um... We just captured a whole bunch of goblins in cage traps. And also, they just routed. Okay, then. So, you killed one dog, and then got caught in all our cage traps, and, uh immediately fled. Well, that's one way of handling that situation. Welcome, new... new, uh... new prisoners. See, immigration is working wonder wonders now. Maybe I should put a jaguar out there next time, as opposed to the dogs. Alright, guys. <laughs> Refill the cage straps. Drag all of the goblins inside. Welcome new, new, uh, new recruits. New recruits and or, uh, guests of the state, I suppose you could say. Are we a dictatorship now? Uh, all the goblins exist for the good of the dwarven state. Uh, we need to do... Sign animal to chain. Uh... Welcome stray war jaguar. I guess we'll stick a jaguar out here this time. Also, we do need to strip all of them out of the cages. Oh god, we have so many goblins. We're gonna have a goblin colony here pretty soon. <laughs> Alright, everybody, what is this? Why are you all... Oh yeah, I need to turn off the... I, need... I keep forgetting to turn off the... Minimum and maximum, so that the dwarves don't constantly go and pick up more picks all the damn time. Anyway, we do need to strip all the cages. 509 items, oh good. Great. Just, uh, just take everything they own. It's gonna be a lot of items. But the good news is, none of them will actually have anything. We still need to, like, devise some sort of thing to deal with them. I don't know what yet. I haven't figured it out. I haven't figured out a way to dump them somewhere. Like, into the caverns, or... You know what we could do? We could we could move them all the way down to the very bottom of the, uh... to the caverns. And, uh... Like, into the lava. And just dump... Find a way, like, create a hatch or something to dump them into the lava f and let them, like, all die there. That might be what I decide to do. That might be what I decide to do. Anyway. There's a whole lot of crap here. Okay, those are not... Hi, guys. Uh, maybe don't... Uh, we can melt this. I think. Yeah, melt that. Uh, okay. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff here. Better go tell my doors to go start melting stuff again. Go back to Melton. It's Goblin Reward Day, I guess. It's 
goblin it's like goblin christmas every once in a while the goblins show up to give us money to give us all kinds of medals and other fun things that dwarven children love at least i assume they do I don't think we need any of this, but hey. I do sort of love the fact that, uh... That we're basically just keeping a whole bunch of random crap that the, uh... That the goblins showed up. The goblins show up in, like, full ar iron armor and just get locked in cage traps. Which is sort of brilliant, honestly. I just sort of love the fact that the cage traps just lock all of the goblins in. We're still stripping them. There's still so many of them to strip. Apparently, our, apparently, uh, naked naked goblins are going to be a uh, are going to be a thing in uh, Tomb Gallows. It's gonna be a thing. There's gonna be naked goblins everywhere. It's gonna be our our main our main export. Or just I don't know if we can even sell goblins. I don't know if you can sell them. I don't think you can. I think when you try to do that, they just uh, come out of the cages. Also, we should probably stop cutting down all these small trees and let them grow. But I sort of want them to grow away from my fort. <laughs> Any case. Alright, let's check out see what we got. Plus, side, they are giving us sort of good stuff. I mean, yeah, it's a bunch of junk, but hey. Better stuff than the, uh... It's better stuff than the, uh... The elves left when they all died, so, you know. I'll take it. I certainly won't, I certainly won't refuse it. I will certainly take all of it. And happily so. A human caravan has arrived. Hello, human caravan. You, you, you almost missed goblin mass. You're, you're just arriving. Welcome to Goblin Mass. Goblin Mass? I need to build a road around the area. So that I can make sure that they can absolutely fit in... Show up into my, uh... Is that just blood? Is that all the, uh... Yeah, that's the Hill Titan, like, pool of Hill Titan blood to just sit sitting around out there. Hello, friends. Friend humans. Pay no attention to all the dead body parts and the naked goblins we have sitting in our in the bowels of our fortress, which we'll probably dump into the lava to watch them scream horribly as they die. Uh, oh good, you're unloading your goods. How wonderful. Well, at least some of you are. We have to wait for all of you to show up because apparently you brought, like, a mountain. Which I'm certainly okay with because we have a mountain of useless crap to get rid of, so... You know, I'm sort of okay with this. Even though you've, you've slowed my uh, my FPS down to like 45. Anytime now, you guys want to... Actually, I sort of just... I wonder if we can just make that part of the story. Just the humans are giant fat blobs that just take forever to go anywhere. They're lazy bastards. Um... Let's dump all of our finished goods. And, uh, we'll call it a day. Here, move all of our, all, like, 40 of our finished goods there. And if we need more than that, um, if we need more than that, we have a problem. In fact, if we need more than that, we have many problems. Uh, most notably the fact of, holy crap, you brought way too many goods. Okay. Uh... Alright, did you bring everything? Is that everything? Looks like it. Okay, cool. Let's trade. What do you got? Platinum. Um, got some gems. Guess we'll take those. Why do you have a native gold block? I don't know. Ooh, raw clear glass. That's cool. Eh, I don't really need the clay. We already have enough ropes. I don't really need to bring all of the ropes. I think buying all the ropes would probably be a bad idea. Uh, I guess we'll buy all of your water skins and your weird ass musical instruments. Do we take all of your cages and all the weird ass animals? No, I don't think so. 
We'll buy all your empty cages unless you have something really in. Oh, you have a cow. Some horses. Don't need a cat. Barrels. I love barrels. Um, sweet potato wine barrel. Okay. I don't really need reindeer milk. Um, I also have a bunch of buckets. Uh, do I really need to buy all your buckets? No, but I'm going to. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't need any of this. I could buy all your clothing, but it's too large for us. We are but dwarves. I suppose I could melt it all down, but I don't really care enough. Oh look, bags. Um... Uh, the only problem is you also mix all the bags in with your chests, and I don't really want... Don't really want, uh... Chests. I just want the bags. Bags are okay. Chests, I don't need. God. Got. They've cotton. I love how it says cotton. So, if only we could grow cotton. Which I was stupid and forgot to uh, set up above ground uh, stuff underground. Don't need any of your arrows. Don't need any of your large gems. Don't need any of your iron anvils. Oh look, food. Because that's what we need. Food. I swear, they must think that the dwarves are like black holes and all of it, that, like endless black holes that food goes into. Because the amount of food that we absorb and eat on a constant basis. Oh, look, backpacks. Do we need backpacks? Probably not, but I'll buy all your backpacks and quivers so I don't have to make them myself. I think I'll buy all of your cheeses and splints and crutches for no reason. Uh. You brought parchment. You brought significantly less than I thought you did. It looks like they brought. It looked like they brought way more. Maybe I just didn't buy as much. All right. So now we need to look at what are we doing? Search bone. Here, you want all of our bone crafts? Is this a thing you 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 all want? I don't think you all realize how many bone crafts we have to offload. Most of it's garbage, so... But if we can offload it all to you, I will absolutely do this. I will offload all of our bone crafts. And you will make 13 grand in profit. He's very happy. Good, I'm also happy to get rid of all of our crappy bone crafts, considering we have 8 million other kinds of crafts. That's cool. Cool, training is done. Thank you, humans, for continuing to give us good stuff, in addition for all of our useless, worthless bone stuff. Alright, dwarves, go haul all of our, uh, all of our new acquired, newly acquired food. Also cut that down. What if I should make the, uh, the, uh, cage traps wider? I wonder if I should do that. I don't know. I haven't thought, I haven't decided yet. Probably also, what if we need more barrels? <laughs> I don't know, I wonder if we're gonna need... At the moment, though, I do need, uh... We have guys mill all the plants. If we need to. Use up some of those bags. Maybe one of our dyers do stuff. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Also, we still have all these goblins. We have a horse? Oh, we bought the horse, that's right. That's right, we bought the horse and the cow. We didn't buy the goblins. So I don't know, I don't think goblins are worth very much. I don't know, maybe they are. I don't know. 
How are our dwarves doing? Well, at least they're all in armor now. They're still dabbling, so they're not very good. So basically they need to be trained, like, a great deal. They need to, like, actually be trained to be useful, so they might be training for a very long time. I should probably also start building, uh... Like... I should probably also start building, uh... Like, a squad of, uh... of, like, Marsh Dwarves to defend the place, so I don't have to send guys into melee combat. <laughs> Might be a good idea. Anyway. Um, here, stick those in there. I'm not sure why we suddenly have a horse pasture, but we do. I guess we can have a guy make cheese. I suppose we can do that. Milk animal, make cheese. Shear animal, spin thread. See if actually, oh god, equipment mismatches out the wazoo. That's great. Yes, move that cow all the way over there, and then leave him there and hope he stays. Must say, we will have cow cheese, that's... Oh god, so much thread. Oh god, so much thread. Oh yeah, I guess we should probably, like, loom that, shouldn't we? We should probably tell them to, like, loom... Yarn into cloth. Oops. Whoops. Probably tell them to do that. Also, probably need to tell them mandate has ended. Was our mandate? I totally didn't realize he had a mandate. I was a little busy. Oh, that was his. Oh, yeah, he had the don't, uh,. He had the mandate to not not export any traction inventions, which I've never built and didn't know you could export, so that was pretty easy. Anyway. Oh yeah, we also need to... Oops. We also need to war train a few more dogs. Uh, actually... They're all still too young. How long does it take for jaguars to become adults? It feels like forever. Oh yeah, we should also probably, like, uh, encrust stuff at some point. Probably. Because we have, like, one guy. That's all he does all day long. He's in crust stuff. Guess that's his job now. <laughs> that's his... That's your job now, man. Because we cut, like, 8 million gems, so we're going to use them. And maybe our, uh... Maybe when, whatever, the new liaison shows up and wonders what happened to the last one, because I still don't know. He just showed up dead one day. Whenever that happens, uh, we'll have a bunch of stuff to give him. Mostly crap uh, covered in rocks. He ran out of die. We ran out of die. Yes, we did. We ran out of things to uh, mill. I think we did. Yes. So we don't have any plants to mo we don't have any plants to do anything with. Oh, well, wild boars are finally giving birth to uh, animals. They are giving board to being trained. So that's a thing. Alright. Guess we'll tell them to train them, I suppose. Maybe we can domesticate them. It's going to take forever, but maybe we can do it. Hmm. Hmm. What if I need to strip... Okay, so I, they're all naked. 
The good news is we have a bunch of naked, naked goblins, I guess. And they also bring us stuff that we can actually wear, so... That, are those plants we can harvest? Why I... Why I never... More plants. Say it ain't so. Look at all these dwarves. They have to harvest all the plants. You don't understand. There, there's food out here. We are desperate for food because we only have 55 under drink. We are well below our 10,000 drink quota. Supply 108 dwarves and uh, 10 dwarves who do nothing but train with axes in the hopes that they're not horrible, horrible, horrible when it comes to actually using them. I can only imagine that the humans find this really odd. <laughs> These dwarves just stream out of the fortress to go gather every random plant they can find. Yep, we need all these plants, don't ask why. Don't ask why we need all these plants. Most of the dwarves don't even know what they do. But damn, there aren't a lot of them. So many. You could probably be growing a whole lot of stuff if it wasn't for the fact that I was... Well... I keep finding new drinks. I know you could make wine out of sweet potatoes. I guess it makes sense that you could, but I don't know why you would. I think you'd make sweet potato vodka. Although maybe that would taste awful too, I don't know. Anyway. What if I... You know what I should do? Is I should find a way to like... Wall off an area over here and make like a... No, I don't know. I guess I could remove part of the... Like remove the dumping area. And dig down into this. And use that as a... As a... Uh, temporary dumping ground. So like, refuse... So move the refuse and corpse stockpile outside for a minute. So, I don't know, move it like... Move it like here, refuse, and then move a corpse stockpile like here. And then remove this. And then what we'll do is we'll dig down they should move all this outside, as long as it's not forbidden. And it is, because of course it is. Anyway, so the reason we're doing this is so we'll move it all outside, we're going to dig down into... I just leave all this crap outside, honestly. We're gonna dig this down, like channel down into it, and then when we do that, when we channel down, we'll be able to have an in interior farm area down there. That's the goal, anyway. So, dig channel. Channel down. And then we'll f wall over it, essentially. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have I set all the uh, I set there to be no miners, so that was a problem. Whoops, I'm dumb. I set there to be no miners, so no one can mine. Oops. Anyway. So, as long as they don't fuck this up, they'll be able to dig down. Okay. They dug down. Now we're going to... dig here. Hopefully. There you go. And then remove all this. Alright, this is soil. Yep. 
Alright, we're gonna dig all that. Good. And now we're gonna build a floor. Uh... I don't know if we're gonna have enough stuff to build a floor over it, but... We're gonna hope we do. Let's see if we have a... Okay, we almost have enough blocks. Uh... I don't really want to use logs, <laughs> but I don't know if we have anything else to use. I suppose we could use copper or silver. We could use what else are we? Well, we only have 18 lead, and we need. Well, actually, we're never gonna use tin, are we? No, I don't like using metal if I can avoid it. We could use soap. <laughs> no, let's use the bronze. We're definitely not gonna use bronze. Definitely never going to use that. We can't melt it into its uh, other bits anyway, so it's sort of useless. Um. Let's not use soap. As much as I want to use soap, let's not use soap. God, how much? I will use all the wood if I have to. There. All right. So we'll put the floor in, and then we'll move all this... But Actually, we'll just leave all this crap out there. But now that we have the floor, we can build... Plot... We can now grow indoor crops, or outdoor crops, inside. Which is wonderful. Honestly. Yes, I think we can. This should work. It's worked in every other version, so it should work now. So you keep doing that. And have these guys build a floor. What are you doing? Why'd you bring the corpse back inside? Why are you bring? Why are you moving the corpse? Hold up. What are you doing? Mangled partial skeleton. Oh, you turned into bones. Why did you just randomly turn that into bones? Why did you decide to do that now? <laughs> Was it, like, forbidden before, and you were just like, oh, alright, got Like, how do you decide what you can turn into bones and what you can't? What are you... Okay. I don't know how you decide... Like... I don't, know you, I don't know how they decide what is butcherable and what isn't. I do need to experiment more. I think the next time we're going to experiment with butchering, uh... Butchering sentience. Because I've had them do that before. In fact, I've had them butcher goblins and stuff before. Uh, in other test versions of the game. So... We'll have to see if they. We'll have to see if there if there's a way to make sure they do that. I don't know. Apparently, all this is not forbidden. Um, why is this? Why is there a difference between the? Why are some of these in the corpse stock? Well, I guess oh, because they have names. That's why. It's like why are these in the corpse stockpile and these other ones in the refuse stockpile? Now I know. Oh yeah, so now we can actually grow all of these other plants if we actually want to. I might actually do that, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see which ones of these I want to grow. I don't know. As much as I want to grow cabbage wine. I don't know if you can do that. Is cabbage a thing you can brew? Can you brew cabbages? No, you can't brew cabbages. I have a lot of food. <laughs> I just realized it keeps dawning on me just how much food we actually have. We also have a lot of seeds. A lot of random seeds. I don't know how you actually get more seeds, because... Like, some of the stuff we've been... Like, the pigtails we've been processing forever, and yet we, don't, we never get above a certain amount. So I don't know how. I don't know how you get even more. I guess we'll find out. Also, I just realized this episode has gone really, really long. Which I should have realized, but... I mean, the last episode went long, and I think I could mentioned in the last episode how bad I am at uh at timing these. 
because I just sort of keep going and I never bother to look at the clock, so I just keep kind of playing forever. Uh, which is not a good way to do it, I should point out. So, let's add the refuse stockpile again. And the corpse stockpile. And let's remove this, and if the dwarves haul it all back inside again, well, that's their own business. And I think that's exactly what they're going to do. What I don't understand is why my... Why is my scribe... I guess the scribe doesn't have much to do if the uh, scholar's not doing anything. Somehow we have a skull there, I guess. Um, oh yeah, I should probably also, like... Did I ever tell them to continue? I don't think I did. It was probably my mistake. Whoops. Oh well. Or maybe I did. I don't know. In any case, it's a perfectly useful, good idea to use. Uh, perfectly good idea on how to use all of our stuff. Anyway. I just realized we could probably mash things into paste and press them again, but I don't really want to. Yes, good. Make more flour. Good, good. At some point we definitely need to figure out what we're going to do. What did all the wood go? What was I using? Oh yeah, I used the wood for... Uh... Yeah, that's right. I was using the wood for... Uh... <laughs> the floor, right. Cut down more trees. Oh yeah, I was supposed to be cutting this episode, wasn't I? And I just don't. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be... That, I think next time we're going to focus on finally making soap again. Probably. Uh, we'll see. I'll probably get distracted. But uh, that's the hope. So, maybe also making some more cage traps. Am I missing a cage trap there? Totally missing a cage trap there. I don't know if it broke or what, but... Not a cage trap there for some reason. Anyway, so yeah, that's this episode. So next episode, we're going to go do some more stuff, I guess. See y'all later.